What's up, internet? Welcome, welcome, welcome to One Piece episodes 245 and 246. These are the ongoing adventures of the Going Merry crew as they head into Water 7. Aqua Laguna is happening. CP9 has been unmasked. They are evil mofos who used to be friends. Some of them really good friends. It's crazy, man. Things are wild. Let's dive right into it. If you want that full-length reaction, go to patreon.com slash nerdynightly. But if you don't stay here, because you're already here, and this video is about to begin. Tom, Iceberg, Kati Fura. Also known as Motherfucking Frankie. Frankie to Naokaite! <laughs> His dumb fucking smile. He's just like, I'm blue now. <laughs> was I supposed to figure out that Frankie was the other carpenter because he and Iceberg both have blue hair? Was that the clue? I feel like that can't be a thing in the manga, right? Because the mangas aren't colored. Aren't they all black and white? I guess on the covers are colored. I'm sorry, Polly. Your friends are evil. And that sucks. That's it. There's... <laughs> I got nothing else for you, but let's go. One piece. Oh. CP9. Oh, is this gonna give them hope that the Mary isn't actually dead because Kaku's the one that diagnosed it? But he was actually being honest, but they can't trust him. If you don't believe me, I can assault this man. The government is really evil in this world. <laughs> like, really evil. Oh, Polly's about to get his ass handed to him. Oh my god! Oh, that would hurt so much. Fuck. The six powers that turn you into a human weapon? Is this, like, something that, like, Zoro has been training in by accident? Or not even on accident, but on purpose, but, like, they just haven't, like, named it yet? <laughs> is he saying that this is suspicious because they told him to not be sexist? <laughs> And weird about shit. Oh, fuck. Oh, my. Oh, no. Luffy's no match for these guys. Wait. Oh, the iron body thing. No, wait, no, no. That that was the bear face guy. So the iron body thing is one of the six techniques? What is happening? So that isn't devil fruit shit. Shigam. Oh, fuck. I can't penetrate him, but... That'll fuck you up. Right to the throat? Ooh. Oh 
Oh my god, I want this bird to get its fucking face punched in. Okay, at least Polly's out of harm's way. This is tense. It's so quiet. Like, fuck, it's so good. I mean, Luffy responds well to talking about dreams, so this might work. Zoro's unfazed. That crack noise they use makes me think she's just breaking people. But they're fine. But the, the sound design of it is so aggressive. <laughs> Chopper gets scared and then fly into the sky? That was very confusing. Kalifa, Ato Dore Kuraida. Nifunio. Is that till peak Aqua Laguna? Ato Nifunde, Konoyashkiva Hono. Oh, fuck. Sumiakani Yashkio de Rukotoda. Motirum. Sorenga de Kirevano Hanashidana. You should leave right now. We're not gonna let you, but you should leave right now. I don't know how they fight against these six techniques, though. They don't even know what they are. He's like, no. Uh, that's how they're gonna get away with it. Yeah, Luffy, why are their bodies so hard? Wait, anyone can learn this? Are fights in this show eventually just all in slow motion because everyone can do this? <laughs> no, he's just going in the background. It's very funny. Oh, that's funny. Oh, it wasn't jet boots. She was kicking the air so hard she flew. What? <laughs> oh, fuck. We are out of our depth. I thought the mantra shit was going to be hard to deal with. Oh, fuck. I love that they're explaining their fighting style. Zoro, what are you gonna do, bud? Let it go. Come on, Zoro, get him. Cut off that fucking nose. I don't like it. I'm not a fan of whatever the fu Oh, nicely done, Zoro. Well played. Oh, shit. Oh, it's so fucking bad. the bird fuck <laughs> 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 
Well, that's depressing. Why aren't they just killing them? Like, if the goal is just to kill the Straw Hats here, why? I, I guess maybe they can't kill them. They need to leave them alive. They just need to kill Iceberg. But they're so strong. They're so fast. Like, why aren't they just ending this? <laughs> I have no idea what happened at the end there. Ah, uh, cool. Cool, 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 cool. Ah, my heart's a little broken. It's broken. It. I wanted Rob. I, I, did, I'm, I, I. They're gonna find her, right? Like, cause it would be so unsatisfying if we never found out why Robin left. But like, I don't know that she'll be a good guy. That she might be the villain of this arc, which is crazy. Is Mantra one of the six superhuman powers? Could be. Although, no, it seems like they're... So the six superhuman powers are finger pistol, right? We have paper plane. We have... That's the dodgy one. We have iron body. We have tempest kick. It's like fucking like Pokemon abilities. Like you got to level up. You get your tempest kick at level 16. It allows you to go beat the next gym leader. God damn. That was... Um, it's so well written, like it's so fucking good. But I'm just, I'm, I'm, I, I feel like I'm not even reacting to it. I feel like I'm just so caught up in this story that they're weaving. I, Water Seven is, we've passed Arlong Park. You know what I mean? Like this is the best arc of the show. This is so good. It's rich. The villains are cool as shit. I don't really get why they're not just killing them. Like it seems like they could have handled this pretty fast. Um, it does, they're playing with their food a little bit, which maybe is, you know, CP9's weakness and what eventually is the reason why they get taken down by the Straw Hats. But, yeah, let's watch the next episode. This shit's really, I'm so invested right now. If Robin actually leaves, I'm gonna be so sad. I'm not saying, like, I don't love the rest of them, but I think she's my favorite character. I, I don't know if she's my favorite character. Her storyline is the story in the show I'm most interested in. No, no, no. I'm working late because I'm a gum gum. Luffy is a dum dum. I like that he just turns into like the kingpin. Let me show you something interesting. Oh no, he is a werewolf. Oh my god, I was right! Oh, he's a leopard! It's the leopard leopard fruit! Okay. A were leopard. I was... You know what? Fuck it. I'm gonna say that was a win for me. Oh, cat cat. Fruit. <laughs> the lack of neck is very funny. <laughs> I feel like it's gonna make more sense when they show it from the side. Can he still do the six superpower things in this form? Is the question I want answered. It is the question that I have. Oda, please answer me. All that matters are my personal questions. One piece. Showing Usopp in this is me at this point, okay? I miss I miss him. I miss Usopp. I miss Robin already, and she just left. Remember when I thought that motherfucker was gonna be a straw hat? This opening spoils Luffy and Usopp's fight. Right. Oh, that would have pissed me off if that had been spoiled. Do I just never watch opening? I know I just watch, don't watch openings when you guys, I just listen to chat. Chat has been correct. That's what, I gotta just listen to chat. Y'all know what's up and I don't. Oh, I just read that. Straw hat pirates annihilated. Oops. These titles, man. I don't want to know that. I want to know that I'm about to watch my best boys and girls get beat to shit. <laughs> Ah, oh, so many people are gonna die off screen. Oh, 
やばい肉食のゾーン系は凶暴性も増すんだ Oh Is this the first carnivore we've met? It might be, right? Like Dalton wasn't a carnivore. Kitaeva Kitaeru Hodoni Chikarawa Zofkusuru. So Chopper can train to get stronger. Ono needs to more remaini. Oh my touching a shimatsu, skeneva naran no dena. I swag it up. Yeah, these are the bad guys. Our good guys are gonna. <laughs> Chopper, no! Chopper! Oh, no! <laughs> God damn, he is broad. It's a broad leopard man. <laughs> <laughs> Polly, I'm so sorry, dude. Come on, Luffy, what do you got here? There it is! Oh, look what you can do when you don't yell gum gum pistol before you punch people in the fucking face! Oh, fuck. The finger pistol with a claw is sharp. Oh, God. Was Luffy just stabbed right where Crocodile stabbed him? Oh, if he lands in the water, he's so fucked. Oh god. Oh fuck. Oh, this is what the title of the episode meant. God damn it. Oh, maybe Zora will land close enough though to wake up and swim over to Luffy and save his life. Oh, right. Aqua Laguna's having all this shit's underwater. Oh, interesting. At least they're not gonna run out of water. They have plenty to put out the flames. He's not. He's very much not okay. He's been shot multiple times the last 24 hours. It just shouldn't exist. That's a shot that goes hard. Wow, I hate the government. <laughs> That's true in real life, but like I hate the government in the show. They've really made me like, fuck, let's go full on anarchy. <laughs> Oh, that's right. What the fuck is Sanji up to this whole time? Meanwhile, all of Sanji's friends are dying. The fuck has Sanji been doing? Nami. Oh, no. Oh, that poor woman. Oh, now they're in their spy blacks. Why is she in fishnets? <laughs> they're all in head to toe black, and Khalifa's like, I gotta be sexy. In the KFC, that's very funny. Sambio de 
話ならまず俺たちに投資。Ah, these poor guys are about to have their clocks rung. Is his middle nose blushing? Nay, the day of Baga! Scassiola, son Nanaka, Stori, Kuno Mamoro, Mani, Mune, Taretanoa, Tashkadaga. Oh, they moved the Mary in here. Chamadaka, Nodoka, I dazore. Hi, Tadaina, Dalaina. Nakit's Kareta. Not that I cried. The tip of his nose blushing is really throwing me off. Like, if he gets a cold, <laughs> does his metal drip? <laughs> Remember when I thought Frankie was going to be the big bad of this arc? And he's just kind of an idiot. Are we gonna find out what he actually spent it on? Sarani, Utsno Bugato Mozem met Sase de Kriangate. Temera, Conera! The anger, well, that. I just wanna know what Frankie spent the money on. Or they was so you was so it the hotel de Teo Tose. Dokoi dokoi da wina. Dokoi dokoi da wina, Niki. What does hifo hifo have to do with 50 50? It must be a Japanese language thing. I love that Frankie knows one chord and he just plays it. And that's the song. I kind of wish Frankie got a full musical moment here. Oh my god. The weapon is going to submerge the fucking world again? More? Oh shit. So in the void century, the like continents were submerged with by this weapon. So they got rid of any knowledge of it. But the sea train is going to be underwater soon. But what's the but in all this? Frankie's mentor. I'm liking this side of Frankie, it's nice. There's oh nope, that's not Sanji. Jesus. Hopefully they're high up enough that they don't get drowned when the fucking... I love... I love that Khalifa's in, like, the... A sexy outfit for some reason. Like, they're off to do, like, a secret mission. And she's in thigh-high fishnets and garters. New song. Ooh, it's sentimental. Is it just a sad Going Merry song because the Going Merry can't sail anymore? Is that what this ending is going to be? Just shots of the Going Merry. Oh no, it's so sad. It's a clever idea though, like a silhouette of all the things that have happened on the back deck. Albasta. Yeah, it's literally just like a love letter to the... Going Mary. In the end, we all can we can all surely smile. Yeah, it's a goodbye to the Mary. That's wild. Okay, great episodes. This story rocks. I um I liked the side of Frankie. You know what I mean? It was nice to see him in a more contemplative and more honest conversation where he wasn't trying to put something on. So much of the conversations with Frankie so far feel like he's like trying to be something. You know what I mean? He's it's he's desperate to be viewed a certain way. And so it's really nice to just kind of see him have an honest conversation, obviously with some of the jokes and whatnot. Um, the, the guitar bit was funny, but um, 
it's interesting, you know, that especially when he got sentimental there at the end about Tom, his old mentor. I wonder if the 200 million was spent. Okay, so if Water 7 was more underwater, is, is slowly the water's rising, right? Because when the Void Century happened, the weapon caused the world to go under, right? Because that's what Iceberg Song said, right? It's going to go under. So then if the weapon goes off again, I mean, I guess it's a good thing. <laughs> the only people that would survive would be the Navy and the pirates, right? Because they all have giant ships that are like large and built to get around. But that explains why the, the, the government doesn't want anyone to find out about the weapon. Because if they build it and use it again, then the, then the whole world is underwater and then the government's power is gone, right? So then, wait, okay. So then is the weapon the one piece? Like, is the is the goal, is Goldie Rogers' idea that if a pirate, to be king of the pirates, you have to be able to, like, wipe out all the land and live on the, that doesn't make any sense. Because even if the pirates were to wipe out, were to, like, submerge the world, and it would be only pirates and navy on their ships, you, you, you need to stock up on food and supplies, you would need lumber for your ships on land. Like, yeah, being a pirate on the open sea is great. That's why they call it the Great Pirate Era, though. Previous to the Void Century, there weren't a lot of pirates because there wasn't as much ocean. But post-Void Century, whatever happened several hundred years ago, right, that they said in this episode, that caused the water level to rise and the one land that connected everything is no longer there. I feel like this is stuff that's going to matter a lot for, like, this arc. And then it's going to be something that, like, does... They're, like... And then in a hundred episodes, we'll pick that thread back up. <laughs> Um, cool, 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 cool. I'm loving this. I want to know what happens. Is Chopper okay? Chopper spent like a whole episode under rubble. Nami is uh, down and out. Zoro is in the ocean. We don't know where Luffy landed. Crazy. If you like the video, like, subscribe to the channel. If you don't, hit the dislike button. Leave mean comments down below because the algorithm god is hungry and we must feed her. This episode, that algorithm goddess is Nami. Do you see? I, I feel so bad for her. She got kicked real hard. If you want to follow me around the internet, you can. I'm at Nerdy Nightly. And as always, do something nerdy tonight.